How to prove your designer is costing you money. Today we're going to take a look at a very simple page from LandsEnd.com. This is a page when you used to look at a product and you used to add it to your shopping cart. And I've been using this as an example uh, for the past year plus as I've been doing my presentation, 21 Secrets to Top Converting Websites, as a good example of how to keep people in the process. What I loved about this page is that once you'd add a product to your shopping cart, all Land's End would do is open up an overlay on top of the page, show you the product with the exact color that you chose, and give you the options for keep shopping or shopping bag. Now, I've always said that one thing I would have liked to have seen is the keep shopping and the shopping bag different colors because you always want to have the primary action stand out more than a secondary action, and maybe move them uh, side to side or from one side of the, of the screen to the other side of the screen. Now. How are you going to prove to your designer that you need to make these changes, that he's actually costing you money? Well, it's pretty simple. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to talk with your designers. You're going to ask them, okay, let's prioritize the actions on this page. What would we like our potential visitor to click on next? So number one, we may choose we want them to keep shopping, buy more product. Number two, maybe we want them to hit the shopping bag to go to the checkout. Uh, and then number three, wouldn't be a bad thing if he'd take a look at the item just to make sure it was the right item. So these are probably the most important elements of the page. Now, what we do is we go to uh, one of my favorite tools on the web. It's called Fangui. Uh, you can find it at fangui.com. And you're going to take a screenshot of the image, upload it to the website, and then it's going to do a heat map analysis of the page. And what this is is a, a uh, basically a simulation of what the first five seconds of someone viewing a page is going to notice and where their eyes are going to be concentrated. And if you noticed, not any of them are on the keep shopping or the shopping bag button or on the uh, product image on the overlay. Um, most of the concentration is up in the upper right hand corner where we have the upsells and that certainly may not be a bad thing but certainly isn't a task we'd most likely want to have accomplished here. So what we can do is watch what would happen in a redesign. So sure enough, Lanza.com had redesigned that process, much like I had suggested uh, during my presentation. Not to say that they took my advice, but um, obviously you know, they, someone there was paying attention, did a great job at this. You add an item to the page, it fades out the page into the background, so none of that becomes distracting. Again, you see the product image there, you see the continue shopping in blue, and the view shopping bag in a gray button. And sure enough, when you pop this into Fangui and you look at the heat map, you can see the for initial concentration is on the product. Yep, did I add the right product into the cart? And then onto the continue shopping button. In fact, one of the other products uh, that, that Fangui will do for you is give you a gaze order, and they'll show you, again, number one where people are looking at is the, uh, the image, and then they spend two on the word shopping, number three on continue. This is almost exactly what we want to see happen. So this becomes a very successful page. Another way that you could just use the tool Fangui, uh, just real quickly, is you can pop a page like their polo shirts page into, into Fangui, and you can get a heat map. And from here, you can say, hey, you know what? There's a lot of interest in that number four product. Is it the product or is it the location? So maybe you want to try testing different products there. You'll notice that the number two gaze is up next to the words men's polo shirt and the hero shot on top. Maybe we want to test adding an offer there, you know, uh, buy three or more and save or whatever the offer may be um, so that people actually see the offer on the page. So it's just a great way to give you some great ideas on how human behavior might behave, even though, again, it's a simulation by a computer. It's not perfect. It's not exactly how humans behave. And it's not necessarily dealing with their motivations. But from a task orientation, it will surely tell you if you're doing a good job or not and give you some more creative ideas on how to do it. So head on over to fangui.com, upload one of your screenshots of your landing page or your homepage, and see if people are taking the actions you want them to take. Thank you so much.